afternoon everybody, it's Viper GTS and today I figured we'd do a little long range patrol ration. So we've got a quite a, we've got a big mix here, um, this one here, the original canvas pack, I'm guessing this is probably 60s era Vietnam. And then up here we got the gray pack, which is chicken and rice I believe, yep, number 8 chicken and rice, that's going to be 70s. And then down here to this brown one, which is uh, pork with scallop potatoes likely the 80s and then one of the newer ones menu six spaghetti meat sauce and this is going to be in the 90s range i'm not sure if i'm right on those dates but i think i'm going to go with this brown bag here which is the pork scallop potatoes but the only thing is it does have a, a rip in the back so we're going to see if this is any good or not but let's give it a try all right so again we're going to go with the 80s menu number six pork with scalloped potatoes. Let's open it up, get this onto a tray, see what's going on. Hope it's still good. All right, so let's give it a slice from the back here. See what we have. Gonna use this crazy triple knife here. Hope that little hole doesn't mean too much. Alrighty, so we've got the uh, toilet paper here from Strabo Paper Company. Accessory pack number six says it contains cornflake bar, orange or lemon, cocoa beverage, matches, coffee, cream, and I can't really read the rest. It says sugar and interdental stimulator. All right, and this is the main. They always pack it in these little cardboard sleeves to prevent punctures. Get that old tape off of there. Older school MCI spoon, which makes me think this is probably earlier than what I thought it was. I'm going to try to find some date codes, but here we go is the pork with the scalloped potatoes from Oregon freeze dried. Let me try to find some date codes, guys. One sec. All right, so I took a pretty thorough look, and these do not have date codes that I can tell. Um, I can remember hearing somebody mentioning that the LRPs typically didn't have date codes. Um, I'm not completely sure why that is, but um, you know, we're going to go ahead and get this accessory pack out because it sounds pretty cool. And then we're probably going to, I'm, I'm going to try to use this stove over here for some hot water, but it's pretty windy out today, so it might not happen. Might have to go inside to heat up some water, but uh, either way, let's check out the accessory pack. Alrighty, so the accessory pack does have a tear notch on the top here. I kind of don't even want to open this because it's so awesome, and I've not seen anybody else do one of these for a long time, but hey, what the heck, right? Let's give it a tear. Alright, first on the top here matches the white ones, especially made for damp climates. Pack of sugar. Got the coffee instant type 2. What we got here? Uh-oh. Oh, okay, here's our toothpick dental stimulator, I guess they call it. And this is pretty crispy. Cocoa beverage powder, type one fortified. Coffee instant type two, so you get a couple of coffees, nice. Cream substitute dry, four grams. Look at this thing, huh? Type 3 fruit flavored corn flake bar, class 1 orange flavored. Interesting. And that'll do her. All right. And I'll just quickly read this. It says interdental stimulator, clean teeth immediately after eating. Moisten in mouth thoroughly, then use pointed end to clean gently. Nice. Let's get some drinks going. So I put six ounces of water in this canteen cup here, and then four ounces in this little clear glass so you guys can see what's going on. Let's go ahead and go with the coffee. Still nice and loose. Yeah, powder looks okay. Not too bad. This is very powdery, so okay. This might be a spray dry, I'm not too sure. And then also this cocoa beverage powder. I did loosen it up a little bit 
once here it calls for six ounces of water that's looking all right but it does smell a little bit musty let's find out grab that old school spoon yeah it does smell a little little bit off kind of let's give it a stir bring it so closer to you guys so you can see it it's coming together okay and then give that coffee a stir put this whole pack of sugar in might as well Sugar is always stable, never seems to go bad. And let's check out that dry creamer. This is definitely crispy. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so we got some chunky creamer, so we're probably gonna skip that. Oh well. Might as well get this burner going too so we can get some hot water ready for that main. All right, I added another fuel tab, but we're all set. All right, so let's give that coffee a try. It's all right, I mean, it, it, it's pretty watery and I didn't add much to it, but uh, that's all right. One more quick stir on the chocolate. It still tastes alright, but it's got a real funky smell to it. Um, I'm not sure if that's just the, the dry creamer or whatever's in there might be going bad. But uh, I'm not completely sure. Let's check on our water quick here, because this thing is flying. Oh yeah, we're good. Let's get that main out and take a look at it. Oh crap, that second fuel tab might have been a bad idea. Alright, we're good. Those fuel tabs finally calmed down, so let's go ahead and open this up because the water is ready to go. Pork with scalloped potatoes. And there is tear notches on these right up top. And these are typically double bagged and this one is as well. But boy, that's really stuck in there. Uh, one sec. Alright, so here we go. And the interior of the bag did feel just a touch greasy. Hopefully that's not a bad sign. It does say to add half a canteen cup. That looks kind of scary, but gonna try it anyway. And this does have the typical cardboard bottom that you use as a stand. So half a canteen cup is about 8 ounces, um, we're going to try that, we got about 10 ounces in here, so let's see what we get. Start with that, we can always add more, but you can never take it away. Give it a little stir, ah oh, wow it actually smells great, wow that's surprising. Alright quick stir on here, looking pretty good. No, oh, it's soaking up the water though. So maybe just a touch more. One more quick stir. Alright, and there's no closure device on this, so we're just going to kind of seal it up as best we can. And uh, give it a minute. Alright, so I stole a rubber band from the kitchen just to see if this helps a little bit. It's sticking in there, so it's good. And neither the coffee or the chocolate was any good by itself, so let's try a little mix. Steve calls it mochaccino or army mochaccino. But uh, hey, hell, I'm not Steve. So let's just call it mocha. Let's give this a try. Yeah, it actually helps quite a bit. But you can see a lot of the stuff didn't mix in. But the flavor is pretty damn good. And this is awesome right here. Let's give this a try. It's our cornflake bar, orange flavored. This looks a lot similar to what you'd find in like the food pack survivals. And I'm probably guessing it's in the other long range patrols as well. Looks like a nice compressed cereal bar. Dry as expected. Let's give it a smell. 
It smells like sawdust, but these typically do. I've had a couple MCIs that smell just the same way. All right, small taste. Yeah, it's all right, but it, it does taste just stale as hell. I don't get the slightest hint of orange out of it. Um, but no burn to the tongue, no bleachy taste, nothing like that. So, it might be all right, but it really has just lost its flavor over the years. But uh, might as well give it one more little bite. Yeah, just tastes like sawdust. Oh well. So it's been about 10 minutes. Let's give this a try. Take off our kitchen rubber band here. Wow. Alright, here we go. It's a ton of food. Oh boy. The smell is actually great. It smells like just a cheddar potato. Can't really smell the pork, but here's a closer look. See if it tastes good. All right, so here we go. Again, smells awesome. Looks a bit scary. I'm trying to mix in some of the extra water here. It, it, it looks like a mashed potato kind of thing, but I see microscopic little pieces of pork in here. Big potato pieces. But it, it seems like the it broke, which is a, the separation of the sauce a little bit. Yeah, geez, texture is great. Flavor is awesome too. This is amazing. This cereal bar is horrible, but wow. I'm surprised this held up because it's full of cheese and dairy powder and whatever the hell else, but it tastes awesome. Rehydrated well. Can't complain about that. I'm going to keep eating. So I'm still kind of annoyed that I didn't find any date codes because I'd really like to you know narrow this down for you guys I'm thinking it's 80s but I don't know because a lot of the you know the LRPs changed so much they went from vertical writing to horizontal writing to brown tan gray bags dark green bags I mean they're all over the place but really this is incredibly good LRP or LRRP long range patrol or long range reconnaissance patrol you know long hikes lightweight meal this is very filling, very satisfying. The cheese flavor is great. The pork comes through too, even though the pieces are kind of small. Um, no problem with this at all. This little cereal bar thing here, it's just stale. At, at the time, I'm sure it was great, but uh, not anymore. And the coffee too, a bit stale, but it's all right. And I'm going to save the second coffee here. And no real need for the napkins or anything at this point. And I guess we're going to use the enter dental stimulator or interdental stimulator. Let's take a look at this. Looks like it's just two toothpicks, pretty much. All right. I'm going to finish this up, but thanks for watching, guys. Great meal. Surprise, it's still good. Flavor's awesome. I'd eat this every day if I could because love potatoes, love meat. And you put cheese in anything, it's a good time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Viper GTS, see you later. Damn, I'm full. I guess I don't need dinner tonight. Oh, well.